to square root of 9 it can be square root of 9 can be either plus 3 or minus 3 now because this angle is acute it is in first quadrant it is plus 3 I got the uh, value of OB this is one, one type of problem this is one type of problem that they give if they will give one ratio, one trigonometric ratio. If they give one trigonometric ratio, we know two sides of the triangle. If we know two sides of a right angle triangle, the third one can be found out by applying the Pythagoras theorem. This is this is nothing but the Pythagoras theorem. I have applied Pythagoras theorem, which says the square on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares on the other two sides. So OB I got. Now I know all the three sides. I can write, I can write all the six trigonometric ratios, but I don't have to write it because they have asked only what is the value of tan theta. He wants only the value of tan theta. You know, tan theta is opposite by adjacent. Tan is by definition opposite by adjacent. That is AB by AB by OB. So this is, I know, 4 and this is 3. So the value of tan theta is 4, 4 by 3. If sin theta is 4 by 5, then tan theta is 4 by 3. This will be the answer. This problem carries 2 marks. Right. <coughs> this is 1. Next, in the same paper, in the same paper of April, May 2014, in section C, problem number 27, section C now, problem number 27, here he says, if tan theta, if tan theta is 3 by 4, 3 by 4, where theta is acute acute means less than 90 degrees find the value of find the value of 3 sin theta plus 4 cos theta divided by 3 sin theta minus 4 cos theta now this is similar to the problem which we did earlier in the sense he has given one trigonometric ratio the trigonometric ratio given is tan is given so tan theta is given as 3 by 4 again draw a rough figure this is 3 this is 4 again you can call it by any name you can call OAB ABC PQR anything you can call now tan is opposite by adjacent AB by OB opposite by adjacent is tan you have to keep using these relationships this is 3 by 4 that means AB is 3 OB is 4 now I don't know OA now again applying the Pythagoras theorem I want OA so I have written OA this side OA square will be equal to AB square plus OB square the square on the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares on the other two sides. One is 3 square plus 4 square. It is 9 plus 16. That is 25. So OA will be root of 25. It is plus 5. This hypotenuse will be always positive. Irrespective of whether it is in first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant. Wherever it is, this will be positive. So this is 5. So I got all the three sides now. So I can write all the six trigonometric ratios. But to find the value of this, what I require is, I require the value of sin theta and cos theta. Sin theta is opposite by hypotenuse. Opposite by hypotenuse, that is 3 by 5. Cos is adjacent by hypotenuse. So cos theta will be equal to 4 by 5 adjacent by hypotenuse this is the adjacent this is theta this is adjacent this is hypotenuse this is opposite that is hypotenuse so now if i substitute these values here 3 sin theta 
the value of i this i want 4 cos theta divided by 3 sin theta minus 4 cos theta i want the value of this so 3 into sin theta is 3 by 5 plus 4 into 4 by 5 divided by 3 into 3 by 5 minus 4 into 4 by 5 now it is arithmetic simple arithmetic that is I get here 9 by 5 plus 16 by 5 here 9 by 5 minus 16 by 5 the LCM here is 5 9 plus 16 the LCM here also is 5 this is 9 minus 16 now this 5 this 5 can be cancelled in the numerator you get 25 9 plus 16 is 25 divided by 9 minus 16 is minus 7 so the answer is minus 25 by 7 this is the answer this problem carries 5 marks 5 marks so this is section C now I will take up again in section C of the same paper same paper of April May 2018 problem number 28 he says without using tables or calculator that is logarithm tables clocks tables or without using calculator you are not supposed to use them you have to find the value of sin 420 degree sin 420 degree cos 150 degree plus cos 300 degree sin 750 degree 750 degree now first what I will do is this is more than 360 more than 360 so it can be written as 360 plus 60 correct 360 plus 60 into cos this can be written as split as 90 plus 60 or 180 minus 30 I will prefer 180 minus 30 degree because the choice is mine he hasn't given the choice the choice is mine so I will write it as cos 180 minus 300 minus 30 plus cos 300 can be written as cos 270 plus 30 or 360 minus 30 uh, 360 minus 60 60 degrees into sin of 750 can be written as 750 can be written as sin 2 into 360 2, 2 into 360 is 720 720 plus we will give you 750 2, 3, 2 into 360 is 720 plus 30. Now this becomes sin 60. It is positive because it is in first quadrant. 360 plus 60 degree means it is in first quadrant. So sin 60 into cos 180 minus 30 means it is in second quadrant. Cos is negative there it will be cos 30 because this is 180 it will be cos 30 only plus cos 360 minus 60 that is it is in fourth quadrant fourth quadrant cos is positive it will be cos 60 degree into sine this is in first quadrant it has come two rounds 360 and again 360 and a 30 degree 
so sin 30 degree it will be sin 30 degree now sin 60 is root 3 by 2 into minus cos 30 is again root 3 by 2 plus cos 60 cos 60 is half half into sin 30 is also half sin 30 is half so multiplying these two minus root 3 into root 3 this is plus this is minus so the product will be minus root 3 into root 3 is 3 divided by 2 into 2 is 4 minus 3 by 4 plus 1 by 4 1 into 1 is 1 2 into 2 is 4 now this is addition subtraction so we have to take LCM here addition and subtraction of two fractions so 4 is the LCM minus 3 plus 1 that is minus 2 divided by 4 or 2 1s are 2, 2 2s are 4 the answer is minus half this is the answer it carries 5 marks so 5 plus 5 10 plus 2 12 marks next problem number 29 in the same paper, same section, problem number 29, April, May 2018, section C, problem number 29, prove that, prove that, root of, square root of, 1 minus cos, 780 divided by 1 plus cos 780 is equal to 1 by root 3. We have to prove that this is equal to that. So take the left hand side. Left hand side is square root of 1 minus cos 780 degree divided by 1 plus cos 780 degree. Keep this square root as it is, 1 as it is, cos 780 can be written as 2 into 360, that is 720 plus 60, divided by 1 plus cos, this is also 2 into 360 plus 60. Now, <coughs> it is in first quadrant. So 1 plus 1 minus cos 60 divided by 1 plus cos 60. 1 minus cos 60 divided by 1 plus cos 60. This is 1 minus half. This is 1 plus half. Cos 60 is half. 1 by 2. So now here the LCM is 2. Uh, 2 is the LCM, it will be 2 minus 1 divided by, here also the LCM is 2, 2 plus 1, whole thing under root. Now this 2, this 2 gets cancelled, 2 minus 1 is 1 divided by 2 plus 1 is 3, square root of 1 by 3 or 1 by, square root of 1 is 1 only. 1 by root 3 that is the RHS. So we have proved that the left hand side is same as the right hand side. This carries 5 marks. So totally it carries uh, 17 marks. There are 17 marks in this one chapter. If you know just the trigonometric ratios of allied angles, you can get around 17 marks.